And greetings once again. Welcome to this video of delights. As you can see, this is another game of League of Legends running at about double speed. Or at least double speed, otherwise this game is going to take forever. It's like half an hour game. And there's no reason for you guys to sit around for that long. Or watching this game anyway. It's eventful near the end, but at the beginning it's kind of boring. But anyway, this is not why I'm here. This game takes a back seat. Because I'm actually recording my voice separately this time. I'm actually doing things separately. I'm being smart. It happens once in a while. Don't worry about that. But yes, this is the video that was meant to be out on Friday. That is the thingamabobby. Voting one. Yeah, there we go. Viewer's choice. I've got the name there for a second. Um, this is about the viewer's choice. Yes. So, I've actually got in all the games that people have asked for. And... Apart from one that you know of, that is the horror game I've been doing and whatnot, because I felt like playing, I want something else more than just Enchanted Arms. Sorry. But yes, I will now actually reel off the entire list of what everyone wants me to play. From the previous one, there was the Persona games. Any of the Persona games, it says. That's one, two. Two actually consists of two separate games. And then there's three, but if I do number three, I want to do FES because there's more content to it. There's a prologue, so on and so forth. Or epilogue, I can't remember which one it is. One or two. And, um. What else is there? I think that was it. Was there, did I say Devil May Cry 3? Well, that was in the last lot anyway. This is going to be up on screen anyway. You're going to have fancy pictures and stuff while I talk about this. Because I, I can edit. And in the new stuff that people have asked for, the there is the one of the Time Splitters games has been asked for. If I do a Time Splitters game, it is, in my personal opinion, it's going to be my favourite one that is Time Splitters Future Perfect. It's the only one I want to play. So, sorry about that. With sorry, any of the Time Splitters games, no, it's this one or it's nothing. Sorry, but that's how I feel like being right now. And I have... The Journey Down, and then there is Machinarium, I believe it's called, uh, Amnesia, and then Luigi's Mansion, and that's what the last one's on the GameCube. Now, the fun bits. I get to talk about all these games, because I'm guessing some of you people don't have a clue what some of these games are. So, let's have a look at this. Persona games, or Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Uh, quite obvious, I've done number four. They run along the same sort of pattern fight-wise. It's just the TV realm doesn't exist and it's different stuff every time. It's like in Persona 3, it's the 13th hour. Yeah, it's a very weird thing, but it's also very cool. I really do enjoy it. Um, then we have Devil May Cry 3. It's just... Devil May Cry 3, hack and slash, run around. Time Split is Future Perfect is a first person shooter FPS where you run around, travelling through time and fucking it all up history. It's an amusing, hilarious game and the music is very out of place to put it bluntly. Then we have The Journey Down. And I can't even spell here. There we go, I've already done it before. I'm actually getting up um, the little media bit of a... Here we go. The Journey Down is a classic point-and-click saga with a black African twist. Is the only way I can put that. I'll put a link to the official trailer somewhere up on screen. And you can have a look at it. And, this, and there are several chapters, but chapter one is the only one out as far as I know at the moment. So if I do this one... I'll more than likely do the others along the way as well. Um, I don't think there's much else to really say about that one, apart from it's a point and click adventure. There is a free version everyone can play, but I would be buying the HD version, personally. I like prettiness, I can't help it. I do it in all my videos, I'm very strict about that. It has to be pretty or it doesn't go up. Uh, what's next? Machinarium. If I can even say this right. The spelling will be on the screen. So, I know that's not how you spell it. Okay, A R. There we go. Machinarium. 
It's an independent puzzle adventure game according to this. Um, first things first, I don't want this play website. About, oh yeah. Machinaria is a point and click adventure game by the makers of the game Samarost and Botanacula. Uh, independent studio. Excuse me. Czechs Independent Studio Amanta Design. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, no, that does not tell me about the damn game. Um, you're kidding me, right? I have to put a link to a video on this one as well because there's nothing to really just explain it. It's a point and click adventure. Um, as far as I know, and when you're actually playing it, it's just one big puzzle, and it's looking for particular stuff. If I've got the right game here, but... If anything, I'll most probably do... What's that? If Total Biscuit has done a WTF on what it is, I'll actually get that, and it'll, it'll explain about the game apart from just a trailer. It may seem a bit more interesting to you guys. And girls, sorry, I do have a female audience according to my statistics. Um, what else have I got? Amnesia. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Amnesia. If you don't know what it is, I believe you're crazy. You're watching videos on YouTube and you do not know what amnesia is. It should have been plastered in your face every five seconds by now. An ally has been slain. But if not, I'll find a video or something about it and you can see people scream until they're end of time on that game and then there's Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Luigi's Mansion personally but it's a strange game I haven't played it before it's just the gameplay doesn't look overly interesting to me so if I get to play it I'll get to find out if it is or not so on and so forth and, it, and I'm, for all I know I could end up loving the damn game and going it's one of the cult classics and whatnot. But I, I, I don't say I highly doubt that but it's just the way it looks to me personally because I've seen other people play it and it just seems a bit weird to me but that's me it's a strange gameplay style type thing so yes how this is going to work this video will be up for I'd say a week at least a week I'd say and then I'll do another video and saying what I've actually or what has been the chosen game for you people and basically um hmm sorry something was going a bit weird just then with my computer by the look of it um yes all you've got to do is comment below or you could send me a private message and then I'll literally just record me opening the messages saying yeah these are the ones I got for this game and whatnot so technically you can have two votes is there any way to have more than two votes can I think of I could say on Twitter as well but I rarely use my Twitter yeah sure sure why not you can either you get three votes three different ways you can leave a comment at the bottom of this you can Send me a private message via YouTube, or if you're on Twitter, you can send me a message on Twitter. I'm not really sure how Twitter works that much, personally. I've got it linked up to my YouTube, but that's about it, to put it bluntly. Because uh, I really need to learn how to use that. Rampage. I really do. Rampage. Anyway, yes, enough of that. There are your three ways to vote. Everything will be put up on screen, all my Twitter information and whatnot. And yes, for one week you can have you get I say you get three votes but there are other ways around this system so on and so forth if you have friends and I'll say happy voting and I will see you in the next video
for Shadan. Was he a hat trick?